Hey dudes, welcome back to the bench. Well, drop us off. Today I wanted to see what you guys think about whether or not graffiti as a culture can be separated or is separate from graffiti as an art form. This is actually a conversation that came up when Skiz and I were talking together. A conversation between Skiz and I? Yeah, I'm throwing curveballs at you today, man. Which, by the way, real quick about that. For those of you guys who know about the whole entire thing between Skiz and I, him and I ended up having a really productive chat. I want to keep it all behind closed doors between him and I. I don't think there's any reason to make it super public. But him and I sat down for like an hour or two and just laid everything out on the table. The entire conversation, he was super honest, super open, super just straightforward about pretty much everything and honestly just you know handled it like adults and now we're on good terms which is really really good I'm glad that's the way things went now Skiz is actually making a video on the same exact topic so if you want to see what he thinks and his community thinks I got a link to him in the description down below as well as the pinned comment so yeah today's topic can graffiti be separate as a culture from the art form itself now for those of you guys who are new here who may have like just gotten into graffiti and you don't know like the ropes too much when we're talking about the culture graffiti we're really talking about the customs the the unspoken rules if you will. Following the hierarchy of graffiti is a good example of this, where, like, you don't go over hand styles with other hand styles. You don't go over throwups with hand styles. You don't go over throwups with other throwups. You don't go over pieces with a throw or hand styles, so on and so forth. You guys know the deal by then. But then you also got things like, you know, respect those who came in the game before you. Don't side rock people. Don't go over tribute pieces. Don't hit places of worship. Don't hit people's belongings like cars, houses, so on and so forth. And most of all, keep respect pretty much at the center of graffiti. And all the culture in graffiti really takes place in the illegal side of graffiti. Now, you got a big portion of graffiti artists that believe that you're not really partaking in graffiti as an art form if you don't partake in the culture as well. These people believe that the two are not separable. They are one and the same and if you are a real graffiti artist then you also partake in the culture. These people tend to believe that if you do graffiti in your books it's not really graffiti. Not until you bring that to an illegal wall and you rock it there. And as a result because you actually are getting up then it becomes part of the culture as well. That's really the main argument I hear for the two not being separable. They also believe that if you're one of those toys who go out there and you hit everything possible you're over there hitting people's houses you're hitting people's fence you're hitting people's cars you're out there going over other people's pieces and you're just not respecting the game at all whatsoever then you're still a toy one way or the other and you're not really partaking in the culture and with these people the work that you put out there whether you want it to or not serves the overall culture and the work you do in your books the work you do in private the work that never sees the light of day that stuff is just practice for when you go getting up later another big part of the graffiti as an art form and the culture part of it is the fact that at least a good decade, you know, two decades ago, in order to learn graffiti, you had to physically go out there and look for it. That was a big part of it. That was part of the culture. You had to look for spots in order to gain skill. Graffiti was also a very tight-knit community. It was not one that you kind of just delved into head first and you knew everybody who was out there to know. No, you had to start off either by yourself or with your other toy friends and kind of grind your skill level up just enough in order to meet the next best person who was texting me in hopes that they would actually teach you something and if they did maybe just maybe you can get in good with them show them that you're chill show them that you're trustworthy so that they would teach you something else or introduce you to somebody better who can take you under their wing this was all part of the graffiti culture the art form and the culture itself went hand in hand it was hard to progress in graffiti but getting in with some better people made it a lot easier in order to improve your art and your art was also very much based about respect right you try to get better at graffiti so like that you can have doper tags you can have a more skillful throw up or a more skillful piece that way people would respect you more so even your artwork was based to the community itself so in that instance I can totally see and understand why a lot of people believe that the two are not separable now you have people on the other side of the fence people who believe that graffiti as a culture and the art form are in fact separable and I mean the logic here is simple right I mean you got kids out there who never went out bombing in their life never got up a single day they just rock out on their iPads and they never even touch a marker and that's not a dig at digital graffiti it's just an emphasis on how disconnected from the actual streets some of these graffiti artists are. They've never had to risk their freedom or their life for this thing we all love. And that's not to say that everybody has to, it's just an emphasis on the culture being separated from the art form. If you've been out bombing, if you've risked your life for graffiti, if you've risked your freedom for graffiti, tell me, what does that person know about our struggle? Now it's real easy in order to just stay in your black book post on Instagram or rock in your iPad post.
post on Instagram. And that's all it takes. That's it. And you never had to go out in order to get up a single time. It's really easy to be that kind of graffiti artist nowadays. And that's not where any other culture takes place. That's no different than your typical fine artist who just rocks portraits or figure drawings in their iPads all day or their concept art or just their normal sketchbook drawings. There's no concept art culture. There's no portrait culture. The same way that there's no graffiti culture without the illegal side of it. But you can still have graffiti without the illegal side of it. Art forms are based off their fundamental set. That's it. That's what dictates a new art form. That's how art forms are categorized. And graffiti is in fact its own art form with its own art form specific fundamentals. Which means the two can definitely be separated. And once again, this is something that we've already seen take place in modern day. You don't need to risk anything to do graffiti nowadays. You don't have to go out in order to get up. You don't have to go outside in order to look for pieces. You don't have to risk anything. You can do graffiti from the safety of your own home. Now those people who keep illegal, they'll never be writers, but they'll still be graffiti artists. And just the fact that we have two different terminologies, one to depict somebody who risks everything for the art form and somebody who doesn't, the fact that we have those two different terminologies proves that the two are in fact separable. But dudes, that's just my thoughts on the topic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. How do you feel about this? Also, don't forget we got Skiz's video linked in the description as well in the pinned comments down below if you want to go ahead and check out his point of view on this. On an ending note, if you guys want to learn more about graffiti, check out the best how to do graffiti tutorials right up here. With more graffiti content, right down there. With all that said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys around here next week.